Not too dirty, but it is. Uh, but my secret, my secret for handling this situation is simple. Hold it in all night long. Has anyone noticed I like to rhyme? Well, hello there, it's Andy from Andy's World Journeys, and welcome to another Train Journeys episode. And uh, today, where am I? I'm in Pakistan, and uh, my train leaves in about 50 minutes. I'm waiting to get picked up from my hotel, and uh, I'm excited to see what train travel is like in Pakistan. I'm traveling from Bahawapur down to Karachi, uh, getting there, I think, eight or nine o'clock in the morning. It's about 11 or 12 hour train ride. Uh, unfortunately, it'll be almost exclusively in the dark, uh, but uh, hopefully there's, uh, there's something to report. Ticket cost. Uh, a little under 4700 rupee here pakistan rupee which uh, which i think is around 20 us dollars anyway let's shift our butts over to the station and as we speed through bahawapur at night now is a great time to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel i appreciate all the support i get and it helps to grow the channel well folks apparently the train is running early but luckily we are also early it's not very early but uh, here we are, this is Bahawapur Railway Station. <sighs> shukriya, shukriya. Just one bit? That's it, this is everything, yep. No problem. I'm not here. Hmm? Did you want to get any better than Well, this is the uh, old Bahawapur Railway Station. Which one? Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. You see now, like it. I think it's deep. The train that we're taking is the Karakoram, or as they say here, Karakoram Express, uh, and we are in Business AC, Carriage 15. It's, the carriage is 15. Is there a way of telling? Down the end. He said the 15 box, 15 box should be behind this. This is not our train apparently. This one is slowly going. Here's a whole group of people. Hello. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Nine, ten. So it's all the way down there. This is economy class. I don't know if you can see it as it goes past. And then what's that? It's still economy. It's coming. Should we walk this way? I'm reasonably confident nothing's going to go wrong here. I've, I've still got Emir and I've got a security and someone from the hotel as well. So um, I'm pretty sure that I, uh, I'll get on the right carriage. And they're telling us that down here is where f carriage 15, which is my carriage is. Here comes the train. That light in the distance, slowly moving towards us, ever so slow. What will we find? What will the carriage be like? Will it be the same as Varanasi to Amritsar? We'll see. It's about five minutes late. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm in no rush. I don't care if we get in late at Karachi again. Morning arrival. Shukriya, shukriya. 
nice to meet you. You too. Have a safe journey. Yeah. Oh, sorry, everyone is putting their hand out. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, let's go, baby. Pakistan trains. Let's see what it's like. Here we are. Salam alaikum. Hello. Ah, it's three and three. Australia. Oh, very good. And you? I'm from Pakistan. Ah, Pakistan. Also very good. Well, we are rolling along. We've already made friends with just about everyone here in this cabin. Um, seats are actually quite comfy. A bit more comfy than the ones in the Indian uh, trains, but not sure. I don't think we get much bedding or anything, so we'll be alright. It's a journey of around about 850 kilometres to Karachi, and um, we're due to get in there just before 10 a.m. in the morning, so that's just over 12 hours, 12 and a half ish hours. Let's see if we uh, let's see how close to the uh, scheduled arrival time we make it. Uh, here we are. We are traveling to Karachi. You're going to Karachi. You are going to Karachi. Yeah. And this is Aslan. Uh, how are you going? Good. Yeah. Do you take the trains on Pakistan a lot? Uh, yeah. Uh, everywhere I am traveling. Um, many times I am traveling from Karachi to other regions. And right now I am going back to home. Uh, it's your uh, it's, well, it's your home city. You just said that. Uh, great. And uh, tell us about Karachi. Karachi is a good city. Karachi is a very good city, and there is a lot of uh, loyal and very honest person, and you will meet and enjoy a lot. Uh, um, and hope you will go at Sibio at night, and you will enjoy. Tell me, what is the one one place for the tourist to see in Karachi? Number one. Number one for Karachi and um, food street is in uh, food, food street. Yeah. Yes, yes. Food, food street. street. But uh, what about um, there's a, a tourist site or something? Tourist site, uh, seaside. The seaside. Yeah, I want to see the seaside at seaside. Karachi. Thank. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank Asma. you, thank you, Andy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Have a safe journey and good. Thank you. Okay, folks, the Louvre reviews. Uh, that's the Louvre review. It's completely... Well, it's not too dirty, but it is an Asian toilet, so that's gonna be trouble. Gonna be trouble, folks. Gonna be trouble if you need to, uh... Yeah. That, but, my secret, my secret to handling this situation is simple. Hold it in all night long. Some say it's bad for you. I say anything could happen in a moving track. That is not how you want to die sweating on a toilet in the middle of the night. There are lights out there, my friends. There are lights. Not much else. Folks, it's nearly 11 o'clock and I think I'm going to attempt sleep on the train. Can it be done? We'll see. But uh, outside you have this lovely area and you can chat and then sleep inside. Train adventures across the universe. Uh, we, we have to pay for linen and cushions. So, uh, this gentleman is working on the train. He's getting... Yeah. <laughs> Getting my pillow. Okay. I will arrange the pillow for you. Thank you. Quickly. Uh, I pay him or someone else? No, no. Okay. When, when it comes. Okay. So we've organized the pillow. Organized the pillow, folks. Very important. Just flipping forward in time, everyone except me has left the cabin. So I just thought I could show you perhaps uh, a full idea of, of what you get.
Now, if you are on the middle bed, you unclick these things. Yep. And it comes down, and it doesn't give you much room when you're on the bottom one. I didn't have much room, like, at the top. But anyway, this one, well, let's do it. Let's bloody well do it. You unclick that, like that, and then you, and then you hook that up like that. And therefore, you've got your three beds. One, two, three. As you can see, that one there, basically, this is the height of my day pack. Um, this one gives you a bit more room. And then up at the top, uh, you haven't got much room, especially down at that end. Anyway, that's the cabin review for you. Well, good morning, folks. Here we are. This is um, Hyderabad, Pakistan, where I'm not quite at the uh, main station yet. It's about 7.50 in the morning. Still got a couple of hours to go to Karachi. rolling along there's less than two hours to go now um the bed's a bit narrow but i got a bit of sleep so that's all right yeah and outside there's not much happening at the moment actually a bit surprised we fell behind because um we seem to be rollicking along most of the way and um there's a lock on the cabin which was good so we locked the cabin and um, yeah, it's been all right. Well folks, this is the outskirts of Karachi here, the largest city in Pakistan. We have one more stop before we get to Karachi Kant Station. And um, look, we're gonna be about an hour-ish late, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. All in all, it's been it's been a fair experience. Um, I kind of was expecting the business AC, which is supposedly the, the top class that they have on this train, would actually be a bit nicer. Um, I didn't think it'd be six per cabin, to be honest. But hey, it is what it is, and um, I think I got about four or five hours sleep, which is not too bad considering the bed is actually pretty narrow. This not very interesting station is Ding Road here uh, and we are in Karachi now and uh, it's 10.40 so we've got probably another 20 minutes to go so we should get in by about 11 so just over an hour late and um, yeah. <laughs> Look, it's McDonald's. <laughs> you know you're in a city where you see a McDonald's like that, hey? Ah, uh, and Shell, and lots of petrol stations. This is our first look at Karachi, folks. Damn it, the bikes are going faster than we are. That plane's not, though. Railway life, I guess. Right now, I'm in the room there, and uh, I've had police or security guards join me, which I hadn't seen for the entirety of the trip until now. Uh, 
um, they wanted to make sure I got off the train safely. I, I guess they had to record that I had made it to Karachi safely. As I alighted from the train, I was asked what I was going to do and when I said I was going to get a rickshaw to my hotel, the policeman alongside me didn't seem to believe that was possible. But I did to think this was an 827 kilometre journey and I escaped police until the last few kilometres. That's something to keep in mind if you are travelling in Pakistan. You may find yourself with uh, police and security, as I did in Bahawalpur. Having your own security detail, whether it be one officer or a few, can be something you encounter when travelling in Pakistan. They're there to make sure nothing happens to you, even though it's very unlikely that something would happen to you. But it's their job, so sometimes you just have to relax and go with the flow. Just when you think you're there, you stop. Now we're here. Folks, thank you for joining me on this train journey. It's been a pleasure. Take care wherever you are in the world and um, dare I say, may the journey never end.